Hello everyone. I am Rachel from MercifulMornings.com and this is the place that you come for education, encouragement, and support for online teaching and also daily life. This is going to be a quick one today because I've had a lot of questions about how to present your presentations, present your presentations in Canva. So I want to jump into Canva with you today. I want to quickly show you how to pull up your presentation, the best way to present it, and avoid any glitchy stuff that might happen when you are screen sharing in Zoom, okay? So I'm not in Zoom today, but when you do go to share your screen, I want to show you what it is you're going to be sharing for your presentation in Canva. So if you haven't already, be sure you're subscribed to this channel and be sure you click that bell so you're notified when videos like this go live and you don't miss anything. I do sometimes do actually go live on YouTube and you'll be notified when that happens as well. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna make myself a whole lot smaller so we can get into this. And this is where I house my OutSchool classes in Canva. Over on the side here, you can make folders for yourself. So I've got my folders down here, and these are some of the classes that I do, some worksheets and PowerPoints I've created. So let's just go in and look at, we'll look at my amazing Alphabet Letter of the Week presentation. So I'm going to pull this one up. It always takes it a second to get it loaded. And what you really need to remember when you are presenting your screen in Zoom from a Canva presentation, <laughs> it's still trying to pull up my picture, you want to be sure that you share the correct screen. Okay, there are gonna be different windows to choose from. Here we go. And you wanna choose the right one. So if I want to show this presentation, I'm working on the letter A, here are my slides. Isn't this cute? Okay, so I wanna come up here to present. And you're gonna click on here. And there are options within present. You can just present standard, but if you do that option, it's going to go full screen. This is not the option that you want when you are screen sharing in Zoom. I want you to come down here to presenter view. Click that and then click present. Now what this is going to do is open up a completely different window. Okay, so I've got my windows open here. I've got my tabs. I've got my presentation. But when I click present in presenter view, it's going to give me two windows and it's assuming that I have two screens. Now, I do not have a second monitor. I do everything on my laptop. So if you have two monitors, that's fantastic. But if, like me, you only have one, here's what you need to know. Typically, this would be something that you would drag to the other screen, and that's what you would share. I don't have that option. I'm on one screen, so I'm going to X this out. I do not want to enter full screen mode. Don't do it. Just click the X, and you're going to come up here and maximize your screen. Okay, or your window. So there is my presentation. In this window, I can click through my whole presentation. And when I'm in Zoom, I can even draw on the slides if I want. And all of this, by the way, I've just from scratch made in Canva. So if you do not already know how to make things in Canva, I highly recommend. Okay, so let's go back. My original window here, this is what they would show you as your presenter window. This is in Canva. Okay, great, got it. I don't really need this. I don't need to know how long it's taking. I don't need to see all this. So this is not the screen that I'm going to share within Zoom. You'll see I have all my other tabs up here from things. Okay, here's my Canva. Here's the presenter view from when I shared my screen. And then there's this other window down here the amazing alphabet. This is the one I want to share. So if it helps you to come back here and go to a different tab just so you know, oh, now it says out school. I want amazing alphabet. That's the tab I want to share. That's what you want to do. And as long as you are in this, you can click through it. You can draw on it. You can do all the things just like you normally would with screen sharing. And when I'm done, 
I can stop sharing or I can close out this window completely. It's going to go back and share whatever's on your screen. So that automatically closes your presentation and I'm back into Canva. Now, if all of that is super scary and you just want them to see what you've got, you can stay in Canva. You can come down here and make it bigger. That's too big. Let's try 50% and see how it does. Okay, that's most of my slide right there, right? So I can share my slides even just within Canva. I'm just scrolling through this way instead of presenting it like a presentation. So that is how I highly recommend sharing your presentation. You wanna do presenter view and you want to share the other window, not the tab that has your presenter view. Like I said today, short, sweet, to the point. I've answered your question. I hope it was helpful. If you do need some other tips and tricks for presenting things in Canva for your online classes, be sure to check out my other videos for that. I've got one that you can do for making your course images. There's also one for creating presentations just like this one if you want to do presentations for your classes. And then there's also a way to create worksheets and printables, which I love. It's so fun. And there are templates you can use or you can make it from scratch. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Be sure to jump over and check out those other Canva videos. Thanks for watching.